I guess the first thing to talk about is uh, I just saw this note, and I know that you wrote about it in the update, but uh, the the uh, page, Soraya, says that uh, July 7th is going to be her last day with WWE, and she's been with that company pretty much since she's been an adult, which like is kind of crazy. Since, since, since she was like 18, she was signed very, very young after a tryout, and, um, you know, um, her career ended very, very early you know, due to a neck injury and they haven't used her, you know, she's been under contract for years and they haven't used her at all on television. Uh, so I'm presuming, you know, that, uh, I mean, the fact that she's saying it now means that she's either, either tipped off that they're not renewing her deal or she doesn't want to renew the deal herself for whatever reason, perhaps if you want to do other things in life, has something else going on. Or, I mean, obviously she wants to wrestle and that's not going to happen in WWE. So, um, you know, I mean, time will tell what this is all about. I am, you know, if she has an offer to wrestle somewhere else, um, you know, and she wants to do it, uh, maybe that's, maybe that's her motive or maybe their, their motive, you know, maybe it's their call. I, I don't know. It's I just, it just came up today. If it's their call, you know, it's, you know, I mean, they've been doing cost cutting and it's not like she's going to wrestle and it's not like they've used her and in any way, you know, they used her, they tried to use her as kind of like a, you know, in different roles on TV, but they haven't done that in a long, long time. Now, when it comes to these neck injuries, we've seen people, we've seen Edge come back, we've seen Kurt Angle come back, we've seen Christian come back. Well, I, Christian was a concussion. Christian was concussion. Oh, concussion, neck. concussion. Yeah, yeah. Edge, Edge was neck. Steve Austin was neck. Um, um, yeah, Kurt Angle obviously came back from a number of neck injuries. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, actually, a lot of people have had neck have had neck problems in wrestling. Um, it's pretty common. Do we know the difference in her situation? Is it well, every, simply a size thing? Every every situation's different, and um, you know, I mean, in her situation, they felt that uh, she couldn't come back. Now, then again, they felt the same way about Sting. You know, he was disqualified for life. They felt the same way about Edge. They ended up clearing Edge. Um, Sting ended up getting cleared by another doctor and going to Impact. I mean, to um, AW, and um, you know. It wouldn't st shock me in the least that she can get a doctor to clear her and go to whether it's AEW or somewhere else. Um, I don't know. If, you know, again, I don't know if AEW is interested. I don't know that if they should be or shouldn't be even because uh, there's so many aspects to the the page thing. It's been years since she wrestled. You don't know what kind of condition she's in. She's had her ups and downs in life. You know, I don't you know. So there's just uh, you know, it's kind of like a wait and see. So she ends her uh, tweet, and um, I'm sure she put this on Instagram as well, by saying, FYI, I'm not saying I'll never be in the ring. That day will most certainly come again, wherever the return may be. Now, she could always, you know, I'm, this is on a Well, she's, she's basically saying she wants to wrestle again. But she could always go back home and, and on a smaller scale. Oh, so oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know that well, look, she could always do that. She could always go and wrestle on her father's shows, of course, um, or or she could wrestle almost anywhere she wants. The reality is, I mean, the only places where there would be any medical supervision that would stop her might be um, AW in Japan. I mean, as far as like like on independence, she wants to wrestle on independence in the United States or in the UK. I don't really think anyone's going to stop her from doing so. Um, you know, what I mean, I mean that's just the nature of the beast. It's not it's not the nicest thing about the business, but it's the reality of the business. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, wrestlingobserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts, and also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com, 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.